I'm investigative reporter Brian Hoffman. Now imagine you're walking out from work or from the store only to realize that your car has been stolen. You called the police and lucky you, they found your car. You just need to pick it up from the tow yard. Unfortunately, many residents are finding hundreds of dollars for either impound and towing fees more than what they should legally be charged. Something like seven on my daughter, what would I, how would I feel right about this? And it's, God, I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's tough. To be fully transparent, well, we have been looking into the fees charged by some Robstown towing companies since the city council voted to stop using its own impound lot. This investigation was jump started after one of our interns had this very experience, providing us documents and recordings of her interactions with Galvan Towing. When getting her car out of the lot, she met another vehicle burglary victim with a similar story. Now, this victim, who wishes to remain anonymous for fear of retaliation, has a special attachment to her mother's car. My grandmother gave it to my mom and she asked her, you know, before she passed to not get rid of it. When the car was stolen earlier this month, it was thankfully found by Robstown police. The family felt a sigh of relief until they tried to retrieve it. He did not want to release the car. And unfortunately, he gave us the runaround that whole weekend. Um, although we did attempt multiple times to try to retrieve the car back. Galvan accepts tows 24 hours a day and according to Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, may have broken some rules. If the vehicle storage facility accepts a vehicle 24 hours a day, then they have to have the vehicles uh, available for, for release for 24 hours a day with one hour's notice. Getting access to the vehicle was just half the battle, as the price given by owner Israel J.R. Galvan was hundreds of dollars. He started at $425 um, just for storage of her vehicle being there. And on top of that, he wanted us to pay $125 to tow it away because he stated that the vehicle was not drivable. You could not even put it into neutral to drive it off the lot that it needed to be towed away. She said that Galvan told her that the car was totaled and that it would take at least $2,500 to fix. So she should just leave it at the tow yard. This turned out not to be true. We had somebody come and take a look at it. They were able to start it right away. My mom drove it off the lot just fine. Our intern was told a similar story and had the same damage to the plastic around the steering column. She, however, was offered $500 to just leave the car. I reached out to Galvan, who admitted to doing it, but then backtracked. We don't sell cars. We don't, we, we don't uh, they all pick them up. We don't keep their cars. Per audio recordings, we found both the woman and our intern were originally quoted $550, but Galvan, quote, kindly knocked down the price to $365 each. Sounds like he was doing them a favor, right? Well, per Robstown City Ordinance that dictates the price, that may not be the case. According to the ordinance, for stolen vehicles, tow trucks can only charge $150 for the tow and then $5 a day for storage fees. Considering the storage fees should have only been $10 for both the woman and the intern, they were both charged more than double the legal limit. They're operating well outside the bounds of that city ordinance. They're not going to re-victimize victims of crime. That's exactly what that's doing. When asked about the ordinance, Galvan had this to say. But are you aware, are you aware that our city ordinance is not valid, it's no good? I reached back out to the chief for clarification, who disagrees. Making an ordinance uh, with a record company valid, you can't do that because there's so many fail safes that we have to have behind that ordinance that protects the public from um, being taken advantage of by record companies, so we can't do that. The chief did say that the ordinance needs to be updated, but that records still need to follow the current laws until that time. To assist victims of stolen vehicles, the chief temporarily reopened the city impound lot so victims can retrieve their cars. Robstown police have also suspended their partnership with Galvan Towing for the time being. Chief Demez tells us if you believe you've been the victim of overcharging by a tow company, to stop in or give Robstown Police Department a call and let them know. TDLR would also like to know of any potential violations and would like you to fill out a complaint form on their website. You can find a link to that on our website. That's ChrisTV.com. For Six Investigates, Brian Hoffman.